Hello, this is Kenny Belfato at SimTech, and today I'll show you our SimTech software. Here's our webpage, Sim-Tech, and we've got different product suite here. We're going to show you the router sim with AutoNest and Advanced Nest, and also the solid sim program to work right from your 3D assembly. So let's take a look at the assembly. We open this up with SolidWorks. Now, I see it's um, got some folded parts, so we don't do the sheet metal unfolding. SolidWorks can do that, and then you can run the, the unfolded part from SolidWorks. But we're going to show you here, it's just going to be a few clicks to process the entire model and assembly. We've got um, an extra button here for Solid Sim. You've got your settings. And basically, you have intermetric values here. So, for example, what to ignore, any small part, smaller than 100 uh, millimeters square. So think of like a little Rubik's Cube, for example. Anything smaller than that would be ignored. Thinner than this, thicker than that. So you could put in settings to just find a specific thickness. And what this will do is this will output drawings or DXFs or both with geometry on different layers. So these are the different objects that are found, and you could put the layer names you choose and the colors you choose. It's a very simple, uh, fast and easy process, so let's take a look at what happens. First off, on your uh, parts, we're gonna pick up the uh, part names. Um, let's see, so you've got your, you got your name of your parts here, and we're going to pick up the material names from those as well. So you've got your part names, you've got material names, and you could also put in uh, part properties. Let's see if there, I'll expand this, and I think you had some materials in here. Uh, so I'm just not that familiar with SolidWorks to show you those uh, different configurations and properties. But you have your part names, you got your materials, and you've got your um, label information that you could put in there. So in SolidWorks, you did a, uh, you put a part name on here, you put a material name on here, and we're going to pick all that up and cut and nest in just a few clicks. So if you know how to use SolidWorks better than me, you'll be able to see where the material is, and um, you'll be able to put uh, you know, whatever material name you like on there. So you got your name, your material, your quantity, um, all comes from SolidWorks. And then, like I said, you can right click and go to properties and put in label fields because a lot of parts are going to look similar. You want to put labels on there. So here's the steps. We've got the part open. You saw me open it. I pick Solid Sim Connect, and this does the automatic feature recognition. This will take a few seconds while it creates individual drawings or DXF files for each part with geometry on different layers. So it'll have intelligent layering information. Like I said, the uh, folded stuff does not unfold unless you unfold it in SolidWorks. So you'd have to do the sheet metal unfolding in SolidWorks. Here it creates what's called the CSV file. That's our cut list. And it'll create the CSV. It's like an Excel spreadsheet. There's the part names. And if we look at the CSV file, this opens up in Excel. You've got the name of the part here. You've got the material here. And it added the thickness to the material automatically. So you modeled in metric. It stays in metric. If you switch the settings in SolidWorks to inch, it'll output an inch. So you got your name, your material, your quantity. Then there's your minimum panel dimensions. That's the smallest sheet size you need to cut the part by itself. Then you'll also have the individual X, Y, Z in these columns here. And if you did have label information, that would show up in these columns. Okay. And so there's all your information. Now, some parts did not have a material, so they just call it material 10. It just calls it the, a generic material name. If you didn't use a material in, in SolidWorks, we'll just call out a generic material name. All these other ones had a material name. And if you wanted to, you could say, okay, this should be uh, this should be the 10 material right here. That you can just copy and paste that. And here's an eight. I could take that, copy and paste that here. And then here's a six. We could take that one and put that there. 
So there I just modified the cut list. If there's any parts you don't want, right, you could just right click and delete those out of the cut list too. So I could save the cut list, close that. Then that was all done in one click. We got all the parts and their name, material, quantity. Then you could right click on the cut list and pick cut with router sim and it'll begin making the tool paths for you. Before I do that, I wanted to show you here that it leaves you the model and the router sim works inside of AutoCAD and we can include a full copy of AutoCAD with the software called Cam Companion. It's a full permanent license of AutoCAD. You don't have to pay every year or month for it like everyone else who's in AutoCAD. This is a permanent license. You can upgrade it three years from now, five years from now, however long you want. We don't penalize you for not upgrading. You can use the same version forever and still get tech support on it. So it's a full version of AutoCAD. And there's a neat command in here built into the solid sim called expand. And what this does lets you put a measure value or hit enter for drag. And you move the mouse, it does like an exploded view. And that does have the part numbers on both sides. So you can see that. You can get a nice exploded view, copy, paste that into a Word doc, whatever you want. There's another button there that'll lay them flat. And that just takes one click. And you'll notice all the parts are long in their X direction. That's the default. You can control the direction of every part and which side faces up in case there was, say, countersinks on one side and pockets on the other. The side that faces up is the side that had the most volume removed. All right. And there are settings. What to do with the back side? Should I make a separate drawing for the back side? Add this to the name. Should I make a separate cut list? If not, we could do two sided nesting where you do all your pocketing and countersinks on one side. It trims the edge of the sheet. You flip it over and then it does all the other side. So you can do two sided nesting. You can also choose which side faces up. This is all the stuff that was ignored. It's outside the scope. This was too thick. These were um, curved parts. So it, like I said, it doesn't do the unfolding on those. But here you can see what the feature recognition did. If I uh, like move the solid out of the way, there you can see what it did. It made something on layer whole with the diameter and the depth. And it's going to cut to this depth right here. And then this is on layer outside. This is on layer cutout. Right. That's what the feature recognition did. It put all this stuff on different layers. Um, and you've got all that information stored inside each one of those drawings. So I just want to show you that layout, that expand. You don't need to do those, uh, but you can do them if you want. And so I exit out of the assembly. It made that cut list. I right click on the cut list, pick cut with router sim, and the rest is automated. It knows the name. It knows the name of the uh, part, it knows the material, and it knows the quantity, right? Plus, it would have all the label information in there, too. So now it's going through and building uh, an automation job, which is done in the SQL Server. Our, our automation program is a SQL Server database. And, for example, I have some other jobs here. And this will start taking off and processing everything automatically. It'll open up each part. Remember there was something on layer cutout, for example, something on layer uh, hole, something on layer outside. So it looks at the um, the name and makes a tool path. So I have an inside tool path, I have an outside tool path, and it's going through and processing all those for us right now. So you could have machining knowledges that are set up for each layer and when you draw on a layer, all right, you can even draw on draft site and put things in just 2D and you draw on a layer and the layer indicates what machining knowledge to use. So there it's processing each one of these parts. And uh, we could we could have it so that it makes a single program and a nested program. It can do both.
you see how there's a layer to knowledge association. And like I said, you can get each individual part program and then you can get a nested program for each of the different materials. Or in this case, I just had it just to do nesting, just nest all these parts. So we're gonna see the different material layouts in a few seconds. Now, I didn't know what sheet size you use, so I put it in as uh, uh, roughly uh, five foot by uh, 12 foot material. And uh, I can show you those parameters like, I don't know, three meters by one and a half meters or so. I also had, um, you can put in what's called filler quantity. And you can have it fill the sheet instead of making scrap cuts. So here we're making scrap cuts to save the remnant left over you could save those remnants and use them next time so there's it makes a scrap cut across the top here and it saved this piece for next time so there's where you might want to use filler parts if you can make extras of the parts you have any parts that you could use for uh to fill in the sheet you could say basic quantity zero, filler quantity 100. I'm going to put up to 100 parts on there if it can fit them. If not, you won't get any. So if there's any kind of standard parts you use. So these are each one of those different materials that it's nesting. And again, you get the scrap cut. You can choose which side goes first. So that's done. And the whole process took just a few minutes. And just two clicks. Really focus on the number of clicks because the clicks are the work with CAD CAM. If two programs can, two different CAD CAM softwares can make a program for your router, one of them does it in 10 clicks, one of them does it in two, right? It's going to save you time. There's the programs for each sheet. So we make standard NC code type files. We've got post processors for any machine. It saves the drawing for you here as uh, AutoCAD drawings, and you can edit these drawings and make changes to the nest if you like. This is also using what's called uh, <clears throat> tool stay down. So what you can do there is just basically pierce one time and have the tool connect from one part to the other with a little overlapping arc. So it comes out on an arc, cuts into the next part, goes out on an arc, comes into the next part. So you have an overlapping arc lead in and lead out there. Okay, it keeps the tool, it keeps the torch lit and connects from one part to the other on the outside tool path. Okay. Now you could go and draw your own part in here. Just use AutoCAD line command and draw your own little gizmo if you want. And then I could activate router sim and work interactively. So I activate the router sim. And I've got all my machining commands right here. There's a step that'll take whatever you select. It'll glue it all together, let you pick where you want your start point to be. I can retrieve. How did I cut the outside of this shape? Optionally erase it. And then it's got the tool and the cycle and the feeds and the speeds. These are all for the torch. You're just going to basically use a plunge inside or plunge outside. And then how do you want to, if there's a Z component, you could put that in there too. Um, you pick a cut, you touch on the part, and it just added a tool path there where you want to resequence that sheet. You go to sequence command, you can put a window around everything, and you can have it sort the order. There's all different sorting methods, sort by area, so it does your small pieces first. We sort by a rank number. Um, you can go over here under options, and you can tell it the name of the NC code file. You could pick a manual origin. And it'll ask you where you want your zero zero to be, and I'll snap it down here in the corner. So it comes up with a cycle time for that sheet, and it has um, all your feeds and speeds here. Use your cycle times, and then you hit enter, pop the NC code file up. So we took the existing nest and then modified it, and um, added drew my own little part in there. You can also drag and drop parts. Um, from other jobs. So if I got another job here, I can grab some parts. I have I have some parts. I um, apologize that they're probably an inch, right? So I can just drag and drop that. 
put it here, scale factor 25.4, and now it's metric. So you can drag and drop parts from another job and use any of the AutoCAD commands right on your part. So if I'm gonna copy this and then rotate it and then move it, kind of lay out my own nest if I want, right? I'm just using AutoCAD, move, copy, rotate, all right, so there you can see you can just move and copy, do whatever you want with AutoCAD commands right on your toolpath. Every CAD CAM system has move, copy, rotate, erase, zoom in, zoom out, draw a line, draw arc. The AutoCAD version of those commands is better than most CAM programs by themselves. So we're just integrated the software right inside of AutoCAD, and you saw the button inside of SolidWorks as well. Uh, the rest of this stuff that this made, it made labels for all your parts. I don't know if you use labels, but we do have labels for everything generated, right? And like I said, you could put in uh, part properties in SolidWorks and you can put label fields in there too, like a due date or customer name, whatever you want as label fields. So it makes all the labels. Um, it makes a, uh, each of the drawings is saved. There's a tool simulation file as well that could uh, simulate. That's more for routers though. There's all your NC code files. It does give you a summary report. It saves as a PDF and Excel sheet. This basically has your material usage and your cycle times. That's all saved for you. And there's also another report here. PDF, this has got your material sizes. There's the sheet sizes that I had for each of those sheets and how many total sheets you wanna cut. <clears throat> All this was saved for you automatically, cuts and nests the parts. That's the router sim, solid sim, cam companion, auto nest, and advanced nest, because I used the tool stay down. Thanks so much for taking a look.